Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. This is Memorial Day, and I want to recognize our troops that are in the field, men and women who are protecting our freedoms, and uh, honor them as we remember them. And I also want to remember the wives, the spouses, the families of uh, our men and women in military. Too often they're overlooked. But without their care, their love, their work, their faithfulness, we wouldn't have the military that we have. And I'm thinking especially of my wife. I lost her on May, March 31st. She loved the Army, and uh, uh, she was always standing behind me, whether I was overseas in combat or, or away for training. But I want to honor our wives and our families. They're troopers. They're real troopers. God bless them. I also want to <clears throat> recognize that uh, this Memorial Day weekend could be for Israel an unforgettable Memorial Day weekend. And I say that regarding the visit of Pope Francis to the Middle East. Uh, I received a, a letter uh, from one of our friends in, in Israel, who does not, well, I should say, wants to remain anonymous, and I can understand that, received this yesterday. Uh, and this, I'll read a portion of it. it. says, in a few short hours, Pope Francis will be entering Jerusalem yesterday, Sunday. At this moment, he is in Bethlehem mingling with the Palestinian leadership and religious personalities. It was announced that the Palestinians would give him two gifts. The first one is a cross, which, Im, which is embedded with materials from the Israeli security fence. The second is a specially commissioned painting depicting the Pope carrying a cross in the manner of the Messiah as he walks sullenly along the same security fence. These gifts are profound political statements. Profound political statements declaring boldly that the fence is a severe containment of the Palestinian people and aspirations and a vicious sign of Israel's oppression against the Palestinian people, operating through illegal, unjust, and applied occupation of the Jews. Of course, there is not an ounce of actual truth regarding this security wall uh, being spoken. That is that it was constructed to save innocent Jewish lives from the constant terror attacks upon Israel originating from Bethlehem. The security wall has been repeatedly given, uh, proven to be a life-saving necessity. Within the mentality of the Roman Catholicism, specifically for Jesuits, liberation theology and globalism, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is a very clear-cut and one-sided conflict against the underdogs the Palestinians, so they would have us believe. The two gifts being given the Pope fall completely in line with the Palestinian propaganda, which is being affirmed by the Pope's position on the conflict. However, the Pope's visit is not only the focus, not the only focus of this wake notice edition. This is what was being sent to us. For those of you, or uh, let me go back. I'm going to try to attach a photograph of the banner being displayed near the Mosque of Omar in the old city of Jerusalem. I must tell you this message being declared in the holy city through this banner is of the highest level of blasphemy. It demands a response in the spirit realm and in the natural one. Here's the message of the large banner. This is what it says. La ilaha, la ilaha, ila Allah. Jesus said, I am indeed a slave of Allah. Allah is my Lord and your Lordship. So worship him alone. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is the most outrageous blasphemy against the truth regarding the Messiah, the one true Messiah of Israel. It is blasphemy against the God of Israel that should enrage Christians and Jews throughout. <clears throat> There is no way that this banner and the Pope can overlook its message as he moves through the old city. Nor can 
the many Roman Catholic clergy and pilgrims pres present for this event miss it. If Pope Francis is truly a man who knows and promotes the real person and divinity of Yeshua, and a man of biblical truth as well as a man of global peace, surely he will demand that this banner be taken down. He will decry its message and even tear down the banner with his own hands. If he is silent or suggests that Allah is one and the same as Father Yahweh, we will know what he is, what he's all about, without a shadow of a doubt. Those who close their eyes and dismiss the truth of its warnings will most likely become part of the assembly of the deceived, which Yeshua will announce he never knew. It's time to wake up as well as watch and to pray. This could be an unforgettable Memorial Day weekend for Israel. If it is, indeed, we need to watch and pray. Till next week, O Ki Yavo Shilo, or until Messiah comes, Yavareka Yahweh. God bless you. God bless yours.